Bevy is a data-driven game engine built in Rust, and Bevy 0.15 is officially released. This is the end of a multi-week release candidate process, so unless you're relying on third-party crates that haven't made releases, you can update today. We've got a ton to talk about, but I want to start out by pointing out the official blog post. This lists the full extent of the changes, including links to the relevant pull requests, as well as very notably the migration guide, which covers everything you could want to know about upgrading your applications from 0.14 to 0.15. And with that, let's get into it. Possibly the biggest feature of the 0.15 release is required components. Required components is a major change to the way components are paired with entities when spawning. Previously, you'd have used bundles to define a set of components to attach to an entity when spawning. It is still possible to do this and bundles are not deprecated by any means, but Bevy's internal bundles have all transitioned to using required components instead. Required components allow you to specify components that are required by other components. This means if you spawn in an entity with a player component, it can automatically insert the team component without the user needing to specify it. This is a really great ergonomic improvement over bundles and is the first step towards the next generation scene UI effort. One of the most notable changes for current Bevy users is that handle is no longer a component. All handles are instead now new typed. This is especially relevant when data can be used in multiple ways, such as a 3D mesh that should be rendered with a material, a 3D mesh that should be rendered using meshlets, and a 3D mesh that should be used as a navigation mesh. This new type separation makes it possible to define context-specific required components for these use cases. And with that, let's move into rendering. Bevy's rendering technology improves again in 0.15 with a number of new features. First off, chromatic aberration. Chromatic aberration, also known as distortion or fringing, is a camera lens effect that simulates lenses that fail to focus all colors of light to a single point, which is kind of the point of a lens. The implementation in Bevy allows for the configuration of the color pattern to achieve different effects. Order independent transparency is an improvement over alpha blended transparency in that it will sort layers on the pixel level instead of on the mesh level. Situations in which alpha blending can cause flickering work as expected with order independent transparency. And if we talk about ambient light as light that affects all objects in a scene quote equally, then ambient occlusion is the idea that a given point on a surface is obscured from that light to some extent. Previously in 0.14, Bevy used ground truth ambient occlusion, and in 0.15, visibility bit masks build on that foundation to improve the accuracy of the technique, especially for thin geometry. Volumetric fog was actually added in Bevy 0.14, and 0.15 builds on that to add support for point lights and spotlights, in addition to the already supported directional lights. Fog volumes, on the other hand, allow a bounding box of fog to be placed in a scene. They can be configured with a density texture, which is a 3D texture of voxels, that specifies the density of fog at each point. The fog density texture can also be scrolled using the density texture offset, which enables effects like clouds passing through the volume. And if you're somebody who tends to write custom rendering code, you'll want to know that the render world in Bevy 0.15 is now retained. This means that instead of clearing render world entities every frame, entities are retained across frames. Each world, the main world and the render world, has its own entities now, and there are now main entity, render entity, and sync to render world components for managing the relationships and syncing. This is actually a huge step for the future of Bevy, and we'll see more work in the future now that the foundation has been laid. And there have been a number of working groups working on Bevy during the 0.15 cycle. One, the picking working group, was responsible for upstreaming Bevy mod picking. Bevy mod picking proved itself as an ecosystem staple crate, and the working group was formed to upstream it into Bevy this development cycle. The new code that is upstreamed now lives in a crate called Bevy Picking, and picking as a feature is the ability to hover, select, and otherwise click on objects. In 0.15, three backends are shipping for UI, sprite, and mesh picking. It is expected that third-party crates like Avian or Rapier would build accelerated backends to work with colliders. Another working group during the 0.15 cycle was the Curve Crew, which yielded significant advancements in the application of generalized curves in Bevy. The new curve trait provides a shared interface for curves, describing how values of type T change as we vary in F32 parameter T over some domain. This could, for example, be the X translation of a transform over some period of time. But keep in mind that these are generic for a reason and can be applied in a numerous amount of ways. Curves can be created, sampled, reparameterized, and more, like being able to drive animated values. One common use of curves is easing functions, which Bevy now provides a number of presets for, as well as an ease trait. And cyclic closed loop splines can now be constructed, which can be used for periodic MPC travel paths and more. 
Bevy's animation toolset grew in 0.15 to include additive blending, bone masking, generalized curve support, and animation events. Additive blending and masking unlock the ability to play a different animation on different parts of an armature, such as running and punching or holding an object at the same time. Generalized curve support builds on the curve working group's work to power modifying component fields using an arbitrary curve, such as a cubic in out easing. And animation events allow triggering events at specific points in an animation clip. These events can then be handled using the observers from 0.14, which enables spawning particle effects, sounds, or other gameplay elements. Incremental progress towards an editor is being made with BRP and other efforts. BRP is the Bevy Remote Protocol. Currently, this is a plugin that creates an HTTP server in your application, which can then be queried to access information about entities and components in a running game. And observers were new in Bevy 0.14, at which point we talked about the upcoming event bubbling feature. Event bubbling has now made it into Bevy for 0.15, and events will now propagate their way up the entity hierarchy. The hierarchy uses the parent component by default, but advanced users can define their own component to use for this bubbling traversal as well. There's also a new on replaced observer event, adding to the already existing on add, on insert, and on remove. Bevy UI has also seen improvements, and not just due to the required components change, which did have a big impact, but also new features like scrollable areas, box shadows, picking integrations, and more. A big change for text rendering comes not just from the required components changes similar to Bevy UI, but also a switch to using Cosmic Text. Cosmic Text is a library already used by Iced, Cosmic Desktop, Zed, Laps, and more, and yields support for font shaping, bidirectional text rendering, text editing, and more. You'll notice the ability to use marker components to update specific text spans in 0.15, as those spans can now be their own full entities. You no longer need to access spans by index. And as always, there are a whole host of other improvements in Bevy 0.15, from uniform mesh sampling to reflection and change detection source location tracking. For the full set of changes, see the release notes, which are comprehensive, and the migration guide for how to upgrade. If you want to stay up to date, subscribe for the This Week in Bevy series, which covers these changes as they come into the main branch every week. If there's something specific you'd like to see more of, leave it in the comments, and we'll make some Bevy 0.15 videos together. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you in the next one.